Hello friends, welcome to Programming Knowledge. In our previous video, we saw that how to apply specific condition on a selected set of data using where keyword. And if you notice one thing, the example that we have taken, we were only able to specify one condition on a single set of data. But if we talk about real world, it is not this scenario. We have to apply multiple conditions on a single set of data. So how do we do that? So for that, we have basically two keywords. The first is AND operator and the second is OR operator. In this video, we talk about AND and uh, in the next video, we will see how to use OR. So first, let us see how to use AND keyword in the terminal. So open your terminal or command prompt. MySQL Oh, okay My server is uh, Start MySQL server Okay Here we go again Okay, so database is and here we have data test database. And let us see which are the tables here. As you can see, we have created a student table. So let's select star from okay. So we have this many of records, and now uh, I want to uh, select the data uh, who has a roll number greater than 12. Okay, so we write select star from student where roll number is greater than 12 okay here you can see now in our case we don't only want that the roll number is greater than 12 we also apply one more condition that the roll number should be greater than 12 but less than 16 so understand this is not one condition this is basically a two condition that we want to apply on this set of data the first one is the roll number should be greater than 12 and the second one is the roll number should be less than 16 okay so we write select star from student where roll number is greater than 12 and roll number is less than 16 here you can see the three rows which has roll number of 16, 17 and 18 is disappeared now because we applied two conditions. The first one is greater than 12 and the second one is less than 16. Now, uh, whenever we can specify as many as condition as we want and remember one thing, the result of this entire condition becomes true only when all the conditions that we have specified are true if even if any one of them uh, is uh, you know a false condition then the entire condition will become false 
so we can uh, take one more example like select star from student where roll number Here you can see um, now we want uh, this record, this pregen and this one also. Okay, so first one has the roll number of 10 and the second one has the roll number of 12. So we specify where roll number greater than or equal to 10. So till this, it will capture both of these records. 10 and 12 because both have roll number greater than 10 or equal to greater than or equal to 10. Now we specify the second condition in which we want the surname is equal to Makwana. Surname is equal to okay. So now what will happen? This condition is true for both of the region, but the second condition, which is for the surname that we have specified, uh, will be false for this particular record because uh, this particular record doesn't match the surname that we have specified. So it will show us uh, only one record, the first one. Okay, let us see. As you can see, now let us specify the condition for all the columns. Select star from student where roll number let's say greater than 13 and name is equal to let's say Alex and surname is equal to Russo okay so as you can see, it display only one record, which is this one, because this is the only record that match all all of the three conditions that we have specified. Okay, so let us close this and open MySQL Workbench. Okay, so here we have roll number, name, and sign. So first, use data test. Now, select. We want to select specific column here. So as we we saw in our previous videos we can write the name of the column roll number let's say surname from student where roll number is greater than 15 Okay, so this is only one condition. Now apply second condition via AND keyword. AND roll number is less than or equal to 17. Now what will happen? 
uh, this record is matched with our both the condition 16 lies between 15 and 17 uh, 17 also equal to 17 and 18 does not match this second condition it matches the first condition it is greater than 15 but it is not less than or equal to 17 then the last record 18 and capri will be disappeared and we will see only this uh, two of record okay as you can see 16 and 17 uh, now mm, let's try something else select roll number now we will select only roll number okay select roll number from student where name is equal to let's say bridging and surname is equal to makwana okay so uh, if you remember uh, there is only one record of this condition so uh, it will display the roll number of that record as we can see so uh, this is all about n given you can specify as many as condition you want with the help of n keyword and it will display the record if all of the condition that you have specified are true so thanks for watching in our next video we will see how to use or keyword